Hello out there in YouTube land. I want to um, cover the topic motivation. Uh, this will be kind of motiva motivation part two, uh, continuation of, of what Coach Mike went over yesterday. Um, and I'm using a series um, from USA Swimming, uh, the ABCs of Mental Training. It's an, an article from there. Uh, obviously, M uh, is for motivation here. So I wanted to kind of read an article for you, um, and um, I hope this, this is uh, motivating for you. And if, if asked, most people, if you want to wake up before 7 a.m., exhaust your body, then do it again in the afternoon after a day of classes, most people would laugh and wonder who would actually want to do that. Well, if you're a swimmer, you've been seen you've seen many days like that and may actually wonder yourself why you stick with this regimen the fact is to be a swimmer you have to have some type of motivation driving you to push your body and your mind to their limits this article focuses on types of motivation that can keep you pursuing your goals and some motivational tricks to keep your intensity up even when desire might be down types of motivation not everyone is motivated for the same reasons. Some people swim for a scholarship, others swim for the love of the sport, some do it because they have friends on the team, others do it because parents sign them up, S some simply do it just for the exercise, uh, some of you may do it for all sorts of medals and awards. Um, your motivation for swimming is actually very important to understand because when the going gets tough, that is what will keep you going. There are two types of motivation. You're, you're dealing, we are dealing with extrinsic motiva motivation and intrinsic. Extrinsic is external motivation. You, you swim as a means to an end, to get something out of it. For example, you swim to get your name in the paper, or to get a scholarship, or to, to earn awards and ribbons, break records, get your name on the board. Um, intrinsic is internal motivation and is often associated, associated with a true enjoyment of the sport, meaning you, you swim because you find pleasure in improving or simply just, just have fun being in the water. Uh, it feels good to be in the water. Um, while neither type is necessarily better Better than the other, research suggests that when faced with major obstacles, swimmers who have more intrinsic motivation tend to persevere. Think of it this way. Let me move my thing up here. Think of it this way. If you are externally motivated, you feel like you have to swim for one reason or another. If you are internally motivated, you feel like you want to swim for whatever reason. These small words, want to versus have to, make a big difference because if swimming isn't going well, for example, you are working hard but not seeing results in competition, and you feel you have to swim well to get a scholarship or whatever, not only are you going to feel more pressure, but over time, it's easier to give up and say to yourself, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough to get a scholarship, so I might as well just quit. However, if you're intrinsically motivated you might, and things aren't going well, you might still be upset, but you're less likely to quit since you're not swimming only for results you're swimming because you enjoy it. On the flip side, sometimes we need extrinsic motivation to enhance performance. If swimming is only about having fun and enjoying the sport, the sheer exhaustion that two-a-day practices bring isn't always enjoyable. Or maybe just the one practice that's just crazy hard over and over again for a week. So while we might be having fun with teammates, the actual act of swimming early in the morning um, or some late at night uh, may not be fun. So, so for some people, what motivates them on these days is extrinsic. You might 
you might have to work hard at these practices so you can improve and so your coach doesn't kick you out of practice. Anyway, overall, make sure you have a strong intrinsic desire because this is a necessity for long-term commitment to an activity, to any activity, really. Also, make sure you know your, what extrinsically motivates you and what you can use as incentives for these days. It, you just really don't want to be in the pool or don't want to be working hard. Enhancing, enhancing intrinsic motivation. The higher level of competition, the more external motivation becomes a part of your life. It's, it's hard to avoid the drive for medals, for records, for awards, uh, for attention, or if you're really good at in, if you're really good at endorsements. However, if we focus only on these external forces, it's easy to forget forget that at, at the heart of it all, we will swim because we love it. So how do we keep our intrinsic drive stronger than our external motivators? First, by reminding ourselves daily while we want to swim and we what and what we enjoy. If if you keep a swimming journal, perhaps um, some people suggest that each day before you go to sleep, write down what you are looking forward to the next day at practice. By doing this, you keep your focus positive and on on what to find what you might find enjoyable. Second, at the end of practice, you can write down what you actually liked about your practice or why it was a good day. You can even in include a story about something funny that happened at practice or how much you're looking forward to having a spaghetti dinner with your team or with a bunch of teammates or the group that you're practicing with. Something else to remind you uh, that, that you love the sport is to put a picture in your notebook from when you were really young, maybe um, one of your first swimming memories. So you always can reconnect with the enjoyment uh, and splashing around on a summer day. Using extrinsic incentives to enhance performance. You don't want to overemphasize external rewards, but on days when you need an extra mental push, to keep you pushing, to working hard, uh, to pushing yourself. Here are some quick motivators you can use. One, reward yourself for, for attaining goals rather than using punishment for failing, falling short or failing. Uh, this goes for practice, not just competition. Know what you, you're working towards, whether it's an Olympic medal, state championship, winning an event at state champions, um, or specific time barriers you want you want to break, post the, the goal somewhere you want to see on a daily basis. Tell a teammate or a coach for that matter. <laughs> when you are when you're feeling a bit lazy and you you uh, ask them to really push you hard and not let you get away with it. Let your parents or if you happen to go off to college and you have roommates, let your roommates know your practice goals. So when you get home, they can uh, hold you accountable and ask if you, you've achieved them. Have, have, a, uh, have a worker of the week. Maybe this is something for us coaches we can do. Have a worker of the week award. Something simple. Um, and at the end of each, each week of practice, have the coach or team captain, perhaps you have a group captain or somebody there, acknowledge who really went above and beyond. Depending on, on the nature of the team, maybe this person gets to pick one event they want to swim or not swim in the next meet. Um, compete in practice. Challenge teammates. Try to keep up with you. Try to, try to get them to keep up with you. Or you keep up with them. Have specific goals for competition. Ideally, you know, focus goals on swimming a specific time rather than just winning. Be creative. Think about what has gotten you through tough days in the past and know what you can use to motivate you now. 
In summary, know what motivates you. Everyone was, is a little bit different, not only in what gets them started, but what keeps them going and what keeps them to, keeps them to exert maximum effort. Always stay connected with what you enjoy about the sport, not just what you get out of it. Finally, remember, it's up to you to motivate yourself. You can always, you can't always rely on others. On that note, I'll leave you with one of my favorite quotes. Success is not the result of spontaneous combustion. You must first set yourself on fire. That's it on motivation. Part two. Hope to see you soon. Take care.